man who speaks in hands. Ah, oh, my head. <laughs> it's him. You'll be dead. Ching. Yeah. Ching. Yeah. Crap, he's gone. You don't know who I am, do you? Let me show you. You probably know Sans and Papyrus. They were created in my lab. I did tests on them that usually resulted in blood. No matter how I treated the tall one, he'd always forgive me. And he'd always tell the short one not to give up hope. Then I realized I'd have to kill them and take their souls because I filled them with determination when I created them, which was my purpose, to get us out of here. But everything went wrong. They weren't developing properly, and as Gore was becoming impatient, I was becoming impatient, everyone was becoming impatient. So I decided to take it upon myself and do it myself and end it, end this torture, end us being stuck down here. But that was a horrible mistake. As soon as the determination hit my skin, I started to melt and turn into this black melting abyss as I slowly faded from existence and this whole universe. Now you know what I have become. I've become trapped between universes, between reality and non-existence. The only way for me to return is a human or monster soul. Either will do. But you, since you're the first I've stumbled upon in 20 years, you will have to do. You're Dr. W.D. Gaster. You are going to die! Yeah! Huh? Ah! Where is he? So violent, Miss Undyne. Now you will die. Oh, you little freak! Yeah! <sighs> the portal. Oh, crap! Beware of the man who speaks in hands. Sans, I'm kind of worried. I haven't seen Undyne all day. Yeah! There she is. Uh, where's W.D. Gaster? Who's W.D. Gaster? Oh, uh, you need to go, Papyrus. Sans! Don't tell anyone about this. Okay. Oh, uh, not again. I'm probably just hallucinating. Yeah! Oh no. Gaster. I am the one who is in contact.